This is the Nerd QX++, the most powerful mini solo Bitcoin miner for at home use in its class. It is super, super efficient, super easy to install, plug and play, and can get you a chance to win a Bitcoin block worth around 300,000 US dollars every single day. So today I'm gonna to take you through how to set this up, the install, the specs, the hash rate, everything you need to know if this is something you might wanna look at. Let's get into it. All right, so what is in the box? I haven't shown you me pulling all the packaging off. I figured that was probably not something you wanted to see. You've got your brick here, your power supply, 120 and 240 volt adaptable. So you can use this anywhere in the world, which is convenient. You've got your outlet plug. I'm in Australia. So this has got an Australian outlet plug. When you uh, if you want to purchase one of these, you can select where you're from in the world and it will give you the, uh, the according plug, which is nice. So no adapters needed. Nice little mount here, nice and sturdy. And it will also come with, you know, an Allen key and a few uh, screws for those bracket mounts that you'll put in there. All right, let's get to the good stuff and check out this miner, the Nerd QX Plus Plus. There we have it. Nicely packaged. Plenty of foam in there, really nice. So shipping won't be an issue. Wow, check out the size of that one. That's definitely more substantial than uh, than some of the other BitX units, the BitX Gamma that I reviewed. Um, I'll put a picture up just so you can see it. But we can see we've got a hundred mil or a four inch cooling fan, thermal right, low profile cooling fan. So that's going to do the job. Keep it nice and cool. A bigger screen as well. This is the Lilygo T display. It's 1.9 inches uh, LCD screen. This comes with the same software as well. So AxOS is the operating system. Let's go on the back as well. These are where you're going to mount to the bracket. So a good looking unit and definitely got a bit of weight to it as well. All right, so install for these. How do you install them? Well, they're all very, very simple. Like we said, they use the Axe OS operating system. You're going to plug it in. It'll attempt to connect the original Wi-Fi. It will then tell you just in a second here to go and configure. You may not be able to make that out, but just up. What side are we? Over here in the top, it'll tell you to configure that. So what we have to do is jump on over onto your phone or PC, and I'll take you through that right now. Now for the exact setup and connection to Wi-Fi instructions, I will leave a card right up above for you to follow that link. It'll show you exactly how to connect to Wi-Fi. Very, very simple, the AxOS operating system. They all follow the exact same principle. So I'll leave that card and you can check that out. Leave a comment if you need any more help setting it up or jump in the Discord. The link will be in the description if you wanna talk further. So we are online and inside the Nerd QX dashboard. A nice purple color, which is really cool to see. It's been running for about 10 minutes or so now, and we can see we are getting a whopping 5,137 gigahash or 5.1 terahash. So my silicon lottery might be really good with this one. I'm getting a fair bit more than expected. So really really happy with that we can see the power usage is a little higher and maybe that's to do with the hash rate right at around 82 watts the input voltage of 11.8 volts and the ASIC voltage of 1.15 we can also see our temperatures here our fan speeds everything uh, that you need to know as far as keeping this thing running checking the stats They're really really cool if we move on over to our swarm, so this is exactly where all of our other miners will appear when it's connected to your network. So I've got two other miners, the Bitax Gamma 601 and the Bitax Supra. I also have reviews on both of those. If you want to check those out, go to my channel, search Bitax, and they will appear. Slightly less powerful, as you can see, 
1.07 terahash and uh, you know half a terahash 664 giga hash but this right around the five terahash version so model sorry so a beast an absolute beast by far the most powerful four times more than four times more powerful than the bit x gamma so really really cool to see those sorts of numbers so the next thing you're going to need to do down in settings enter in your home wi-fi address and password click save click connect and you will be away change the pool if you want to i like public pool i like the layout we'll have a look at that in a second and enter in your own bitcoin wallet address followed by whatever name you want to identify this miner as so the nerd xq is what i've gone for we can see some mining settings frequency core voltage don't mess with that stuff if you don't know what you're doing it's for overclocking undervolting all that sort of stuff I like to keep my fans on 100% S19 simulator. It has the same chips or hash boards as the S19 and set a shutdown temperature. I leave that at 70 degrees as well. That's the manufacturer's specifications. So that's what we stay at. Influx DB, don't worry about that. That's more of a technical side. That's where you're hosting all of your stored data. So if you know what's going on there, you won't need to tell me. So I'll leave that out. And then last is your system where it shows you your logs and you can restart if you want to. So it'll show you your hash rate, it'll show you your temperature, all that sort of fun stuff. If you're a tech person and you like that sort of information, check out the system, that's where you'll find it all. But back on the dashboard now, we can see we've got 5.3 terahash. So this thing, 15.57 joules per terahash, very, very efficient for what it is. So, so far, so good. Now let's jump on over to the pool and see what it looks like over there. So over here on public-pool.io, we can see the Nerd XQ is right there. Pool registering right around 4.7 terahash. So yeah, pretty accurate considering 4.9 terahash on the XOS dashboard and 4.7 right here on the pool side. So I've had a few people ask me, you know, how do I know if it's mining? A couple really good ways to check. Check that you're getting a registered hash rate in here. Check that you are getting shares on your XOS and an expected hash rate and an actual hash rate, and you'll be good to go. All right, so let's check out some of these specs in a little more detail. The Nerd QX++. This is the 4.8 terahash, the multi-chip Bitcoin home miner. But as we saw, my silicon lottery is pretty good. I was getting around 5 to 5.3 terahash. It does say it uses 72 watts. Mine was closer to 80, but maybe that's because it's pulling more power for the higher hash rate. Silicon lottery is going to work in one or two ways. You'll get slightly more hash rate, slightly less. That's just down to do with the chips out of your control. So don't worry about that says it's powered by four BM1370 chips from the Antminer S21 Pro, S21 Plus, and the S21 Plus Hydro. So some of the most efficient miners, and we've had a look at the efficiency there. It's, uh, it's definitely up there for what it is, so really, really cool. That pink display we saw, the Lilygo T display S3, two inches, nice and clear with heaps of info on it. We've got the hash rate, the price, uh, ASIC temperatures, power usage, the efficiency, and uh, and a little bit more on there as well. So the cooling, next up, it's a, it's a 100 mil uh, cooling fan or 10 centimeters, or for those people in the States, four inches. So it's, a, it's pretty substantial for what it is compared to, uh, to the other miners. So that's pretty much all we need to know about all of this sort of stuff. If you want to have a bit more of a read, you can go over here on shop.powermining.io. Now, if you are interested in grabbing one of these, the Nerd QX Plus Plus, they are 500 euros. You can grab them from shop.powermining.io. I will leave a link down in the description if you want to grab one of those. And if you want to use my coupon code Bear Market Miner, you'll save yourself 50 euros, so about 75 US dollars. Um, so a pretty good discount on there but you know obviously do your research first figure out if it's something you want to get into and if it is that code will save you a little bit of cash so let's have a brief look at this efficiency so it was right around the 15 15 and a half joules per terahash so we're up here on miningnow.com in the bitcoin miners we've sorted by efficiency and as you can see, this is as efficient as some of the most recent Bitcoin miners out there. So 
you know, that's mind blowing. You don't necessarily expect to see that sort of efficiency and performance out of a little mini miner like this, but definitely the most efficient home mini miner in its class as well. You know, the S21 Pros, the S21 Plus Hydros, you know, I was kind of shocked when I saw how efficient this thing was. So that's definitely a bonus. And, you know, while it is using around 80 watts, that's not something you're ever going to notice over the course of a year. If you're in a position to buy one of these, I don't think you're sweating uh, the 80 watts. But knowing that it's as efficient as it can be, uh, that gives you a little more uh, peace of mind that, you know, this is a pretty good little miner. So one of the things I like to do and you will like to do also if you want to know what to expect when and if you could ever hit a block. We're here on sololuck.com which is a Bitcoin solo reward calculator. It basically calculates your chance per terahash. Let's enter in 5 terahash right here which is about what we were getting and we can see 1 in 1 million 237,000. So that old 1 in a million chance we're pretty much on that right. So not super high chances, but a lot better than all of the others. And this is every single day, 1, 1 in 1 1.2 million people every single day. You've got a chance to hit that. I like those odds. One in $3,390, that's per year. And obviously with Bitcoin at around $100,000, you're looking at around 300,000 USD for a pretty small investment to get a lottery ticket every single day. So this is really, really cool. I like those odds. This is definitely my favorite miner and is definitely going to give you, if you're into this sort of stuff, and definitely me, a much better shot of actually hitting a Bitcoin solo block. Even though it's small, we like to be in it to win it. So that is going to wrap up the video, guys. The Nerd QX Plus Plus 5.2, 5.3 terahash I was getting. Easily the most powerful in its class for these home mini solo Bitcoin miners. This thing is a really, really cool unit. Really, really glad I've got my hands on one of these. Super easy to set up and, and just really cool to know I've got a chance, a small chance of hitting a Bitcoin block every single day. So let me know down in the comments, guys. Do you have any of these uh, these Bitcoin solo miners? Are you thinking about getting this one? Because <laughs> I, I feel like I need to get more of these now and just keep reducing that chance per day of hitting a Bitcoin block. Leave me a comment down below. Join the Discord if you want to chat more. The link is in the description. Hit that like button, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.